Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over some information you definitely need to know for the upcoming events and potentially for your just knowledge. And we have a scammer going around imitating me which we're going to put an image up and I've had people including patrons replying saying hey I reached out to you it's fake do not give out your information. I'll show you a trick to make sure you can verify it to me replying in the comments. It's really not difficult. Look for the check mark. But I'm taking a look at my first puzzle raid here. Just going to go ahead and uh, enter that into the Pokedex. And once I'm done getting up these videos, the grind isn't going to stop. I just had to get this information out for you guys and gals really quick because there's some stuff you need to know regarding the ticket. You may want to buy that before it is too late. So <laughs> I was waiting for this thing, this puzzle here, to go ahead and attack. It didn't. I hit it outside the ring. First ball, first raid, first one, we caught it, bad throw, let's go. All right, <laughs> let's keep it moving here. So for those wondering, you will be able to get a puzzle under level 15 for the Great League if you do purchase the ticket for the ticket holders. So you may want to do that. There's a little incentive there, let's go. Niantic should have put this out a lot sooner so we can all purchase it and have more being more aware of the situation, so not scrambling at the last second here. And this is what the research is going to have as far as the tasks that you need to complete and the items that you're going to be getting. Standard stuff, nothing crazy. So you have send three gifts to friends, complete two field research tasks, spin three Pokestops, spin three gems. I mean, it's stuff like that. So you definitely want to purchase this, folks. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're really into Pokemon Go, $10, $13 is not too big of an investment. If you plan on always playing the game and especially if you're going to be in the great league for go battling now here is a screenshot of the scammer do not reply i'm going to be getting a new logo soon not because of this just because it's about that time but ask them to heart your comment or if i mean you just look at the check mark <laughs> i mean i got that verification there folks now we have some even more interesting information now we've been talking about community days and how they're going to inevitably eventually run out of things to community day that's years and years down the line they can take two pokemon and give it three moves in just three months there you go but we're talking about lucario and things like that how are they going to get a community day well looks like they may potentially be throwing these baby pokemon into the wild for us to catch now i'm not saying that's certain but if they're getting some sort of a distance uh you know interaction modification is some sort of an indication that potentially we're going to be able to catch these things in the wild and i'm just can't help but think community days uh gearing up for it they do these things in preparation for events way down the line so i have a feeling yes uh, maybe we might be seeing babies in the wild and for potentially community days and now we have some more information here regarding even more Pokemon that are not in the game yet that are kind of just changing and moving them around, preparing for them, because we're going to be seeing a whole new season of Pokemon Go here in a couple of days, and you better believe we're going to be seeing new Legendaries, new Pokemon, and a whole lot of fun. I really enjoy these new seasons and rotations that they do have going on here. I know I do bring out all of the things I see a lot, but you just know what it is. When they do something good, I always give them credit, and when there's an event that's exciting, I don't drag it through the mud. And now we're going to be seeing the legendaries, essentially a, a Metagross legendary. So you have Sigalio and Lunala. I think that's how you say it, Lunala. Which are going to be amazing. And, well, they're going to be the new legendaries, the featured ones for the next season. I'm sure we're going to be seeing plenty of them. Be oh, not even featured. What am I talking about? We got Kieran Black and White, potentially. We got extended raids, like we were talking about. What if it was that... That exact thing where you beat the raid and all of a sudden like a warning comes over your screen like new boss. I mean, that would be freaking amazing. Niantic, make it happen for the people. I mean, sometimes I'm like, yeah, finally the raid's done. You know, I get it. You maybe don't want to keep on battling. But for the rest of us who want to maybe see something extra fresh and new, this is going to be exciting. So that is happening Fixing sizes, you can definitely expect these things very soon here. Now, they are also going to be increasing the storage, as you can see here, from 5,150 to 6,150. So you're going to be able to increase that space for the last Go Fest event. I mean, this is it. They really drug this out. Like, why so late? But hey, I'm not complaining. Let's get it. We'll take a look at those boxes here in a moment. Now, also, if you did go to Go Fest and you caught Shaman already, typical stuff, you're going to be getting... Some Stardust as well as some Candies instead of another Shaman. So there you go, if you did go to the Go Fest. 
All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at these boxes here that are going to be for the last event in GoFest that are going to start on the 27th. Three-time purchase only for these boxes, except for the last one. First one is going to have a star piece, an incubator, and some bread. <laughs> it's a good deal. Uh, this is also a great deal, too. Three raid passes for 375 plus some pineapps and an incubator. Definitely worth the price if you're looking to get those items. And now for the item increase and Pokemon storage increase, 550 coins for 30 balls, Five lucky eggs increase the storage and your Pokemon storage. So yeah, I think that's definitely worth it. This last one here is a little iffy. I mean, I would enjoy more egg incubators, but if they're going to be throwing, we well, got six super and then four regular, I guess. And then you got four star pieces and 30 ultra balls. I mean, it's not a bad deal, but I would like to see more incubators personally. So remember, other than the last one that we did just take a look at, they're only going to be a three time purchase limit on all these because yeah, they're pretty good. So if you want to just maybe buy all of them all three times, you know what you got to do. I probably will do that. I did purchase more Poke coins in preparation for this because I'm going to be raiding these a whole lot. And I just want to bring you a quick refresher as to what you're going to be wanting to use going up against these. And remember, if you do have a ticket for this last event, you're going to be able to get a puzzle after you do complete the special research and get one under level 15 for the Great League. So the top counters are going to be Shadow Moltres, then Rayquaza, Ho-Oh, Galarian, Articuno, if you have that, Lugia, and then Star Raptor. And then you're going to have your Megas, Mega Pidgeot, Mega Charizard, Mega Latios, Shadow Moltres, and so on. Taking a look at Feromosa, they're going to basically be the same counters because they're the same typing. So if you do have Windy Weather increasing the flying, ooh, ooh, you're going to be able to just run through some of these by yourself, I think. I think you might be able to almost solo them yourself too, to some degree. I don't think Buzzle, but maybe Feromosa. And then you're going to have the same Megas, Mega Pidgeot, Mega Charizard, Latios, and then Shadow Moltres. I did just invest in a Shadow Moltres. I spent all the XL candies and I did invest about 150 XL candies so I can power it up. Oh yeah, it's it's getting that serious. And then we have Zergatree, which is going to have a completely different set of counters, starting with Landorus and then Garchomp, Excadrill, Rhyperior, Groudon, and then the regular Landorus. So taking a look at the Megas, you're going to have Mega Beedrill, Mega Kangaskhan, which is interesting because of its ground type moves. Mega Aerodactyl with Earth Power. I know that's funny, up against an Electric. And then Mamoswine, Shadow Mewtwo, and then Shadow Nidoking. Alrighty, folks, moving on to the last one, Nihiligo, which I'm not really interested in doing too much. But if it is the hour, you can go ahead and send me those. And please send me those other ones as soon as I get this up. If you're on my friends list, go ahead, send them my way. So for this one, you're just going to want to use ground, essentially the same as Zergatree, Excadrill, Garchomp, Landorus, Theron, Rhyperior, Groudon, and then regular Theron. So if you did enjoy this news flash video, please give it a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. Good luck out there and take care. Hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!